All right, everyone, we're back here with another review. My typical assistant is behind the camera for this one because this one does not involve her so much as it involves me. Um, and one of my very first firearms that I ever purchased was um, this Para Ordnance uh, 1911. It's their double stack. Uh, I believe it's considered their Pro Custom um, 1445, I believe it's what it's called. It is a double stacked um, 1911. Um, and it was custom made for um, my unit when we were in Afghanistan. It, uh, doing some homework since getting back, it looks like they did this, I think they did it for a bunch of units between 2006, 2005, and I think the latest I saw was 09. So not unique with this, there's lots of these out there. There's other ones that exist, but um, I'm one of the few people that I know in my circle that have seen one of these, let alone own one. And uh, there's not a lot of videos. In fact, I only found, I think, one or two videos on YouTube um, about this gun specifically, and they were not in English. So, <laughs> time for an English review of the Para Ordnance 1445. I know there's some other nomenclature for it, but this is it's what I have for it. So, we'll go over that today. Alrighty, so out of the box, this came with four magazines that are 14 rounds each. And it came with the pistol. It's pretty simple. Uh, it came in a hard case. And you can see here the custom engraving. So that was my unit crest for the 103rd Armored Division or Armored Regiment. You have our 103rd here, the third of the 103rd. Afghanistan, 2007-2008. It does have an adjustable trigger. And it does have tritium night sights front and rear, which is nice. And they put our unit patch on there the keystone as well so pretty simple uh this is a i think this is the five inch barrel i believe it is and um it disassembles like a normal 1911 you have your your barrel nut up here that twists off and it comes apart just like a, a, your typical 1911 uh it's got your beaver, beaver tail here with the um grip safety your manual safety and uh I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, the only difference between the uh, you know, 1911 and this is the fact that it is a double stack. It's a pretty wide gun. Um, very, it's got some weight to it, but it's uh, it's pretty nice, especially for being in 45. It's uh, It adds that a uh, little bit of balance to the, the recoil. Um, it does have the slide um, cut for a light. I'm kind of kicking myself now that I didn't go for the spring for the extra money for the light that was custom matched to this. It was... Um, Oh, I forget who makes it. I tried searching up some information last night, but there was a company that made them specifically for this. They were the same color and they fit here as well. I just don't recall what it is. Like I said, we're uh, it's a double stack, so 14 rounds in here. You can do a 14 plus one. Uh, I'm just going to do 14 today. And what are we shooting? I don't have the manufacturer, but they are 230 grain rounds that we're shooting today. Um, I'll have to see if I remember who made these rounds i don't remember usually yeah i don't know doesn't matter they go pew and that's what matters all right so the, one of the main downsides to this pistol is um and uh, is the, the fact that i can never find a holster that works that fits it nicely um not a big fan of leather holsters i would like a more custom fit but nobody makes it specifically for this uh and on top of that not many other companies make a double stack 1911 and 45. So it's, uh, I've been told that all 1911 holsters are exactly the same because they're the same up to here, but this has a pretty wide flare here in the, in the grip. So I'm just gonna have to be holding on to it. Um, yeah, this, is, this is where I live here. <laughs> uh, this is the life I have. But um, the sights are adjustable. I've actually never adjusted them. I probably should. So these, these shots are not gonna be 100% accurate we're about 12 yards away um and so i'm just gonna have to fire and adjust but um one thing i will say it, the spring on this is tight especially when the hammer is already forward but when it's back already much easier so but luckily you have your serrations here and here to uh to help manipulate it which is nice so trigger safety only works when the hammer is cocked which is fine um so let's, uh, let's load up 14 and see, actually, so when you have your 14th in there, so maybe this isn't a 14 plus one. It's been so long since I've looked into this. I think maybe it's not a 14 plus one. I think it is a true 14. We 
can't load that 14th round in there with the slide shut. So, but it's okay. Now we're good to go. That was 14, goes pretty quick, but uh, couldn't imagine if it wasn't double stacked, it'd go even quicker. So I'm now looking at the target and realize that these sights are quite off and I probably should adjust them at some point, but that day is not gonna be today. So let's go take a look at it, shall we? All right, we were using the same target that we were just shooting, um, her 350 Legend uh american ruger american ranch ad so disregard those but yeah you can see it it does shoot to the left um i had it at a range recently and it's uh, consistent with what happened there too so uh i definitely uh was off on a few of them but um it does consistently pull down and to the left i'll do another i'll do another mag and see if i can maybe walk them in a little bit and see uh how uh, uh, maybe how far off it is, but I'm not adjusting them today, but just to give you an idea. All right, we're going to do one more magazine, and uh, I'm going to try to walk them in. And I think, if I'm, if I'm lucky, if you're lucky, the last round, somebody might try one. She's never shot this one. Um, so it's a little big. It is heavy. I think this weighs almost, I think it's a little over two pounds, if I remember correctly. So... It is heavy, but um, that kind of helps with the recoil quite a bit. So if we're lucky, she might she might do one. So here we go. I've lost count. <laughs> Want to try? I don't think it's the last one, but... So, safety's on. Okay. Now, this has a palm safety, so you have to grip. You have to squeeze pretty hard. But remember, you're squeezing with this back here. And your hand's still going to go here, like it does on all the other ones, okay? Mm. Wait, so this is a palm Yep, so you just have to you have to grip it. That's all. You used to iron sights, so just go ahead. Don't jerk it. You're <laughs> you're anticipating the shot. Don't do that. Just nice squeeze. It's not a heavy trigger. That was the last shot too. <laughs> that was actually the last shot. I wasn't expecting that. How was it? No. That's not that bad. It's big. It's more than your 22 for sure. So, but all right, we are empty, and uh, that's a a very quick down and dirty uh, of the Para Ordnance 1445 1911 uh, that I've had since. Got back in 2008. I can't remember if I actually picked it up in December of 2008 or if I had it in 2009, but it was the end of 08, 09 is when I, when I picked it up from the store. And uh, yeah, I've liked it. It's always, it's not one of those things I would carry. It, it's got some blemishes on it, so it's not in mint condition now, but um, you know, guns are made to be used. And uh, at least I know the sights are off in case I absolutely have to use it, so. Alrighty, so thank you for watching the review. Uh, if you have any questions about this, let me know. Um, like I said, I know there's not a ton of information about this out there, especially now that Para Ordnance or Para USA, uh, they, went, uh, they went out a while ago. I can't remember, I think somebody bought 
them fairly recently, but they are no longer producing in their current and their past capacity. Um, so uh, if you have any questions, let me know. But yeah, this is a it's a pretty cool piece, especially it's a it's definitely a talking point. Last time I took it to the range, the guys just had to know the the RSOs had to know a little bit more about it. Um, but yeah, other than that, I, the, the, when I first bought it, it would jam every uh, it would jam every so often. I think it was just the magazines breaking in. Because since then, I haven't had an issue with it. Um, like I, I do have more than just this one, but for this video, I only brought one with. Um, so if anyone also has a lead on where I can get a nice, uh, Kydex would be nice, Kydex holster for a double stack 1911, let me know in the comments because it'd be greatly appreciated. And uh, if you happen to have one of these, also let me know. And if you also happen to have the information on that bottom light and you'd like to let one go to somebody, let me know. Kind of wish I would have bought it, um, but I think I paid can't remember how much I paid for this. I think the whole setup retailed for like almost fifteen hundred dollars, but I don't think I pay. I think we were given the special at like eight hundred. I think I'm, I can't remember, but um, whatever. Worth every penny. Everyone should have a nineteen eleven single stack or double stack. Everyone should have one. So, thanks again. Appreciate you watching. If you have any ideas, I have maybe one other gun review that I think I could do that some people have not seen before. So if you have any other ideas for reviews that we should do, let me know. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one.